Hello, everyone. Hello, Haunted Leg. Hello, Reaper Zeus. Hello, everyone in chat. We're doing some Josh Plays games today. Uh, we're not doing Fortnite. We're not doing Call of Duty Zombies. We're doing what we do on this stream, which is anything we're feeling on Monday. And what I'm feeling after watching a bunch of videos is Hitman 3. I'm also a big Hitman fan. If you never noticed a tattoo before, uh, big Hitman fan. Also, very lucky on the lore as of late, but that's fine. Really love the GameCube game. Anyway, I'm not here just by myself. I'm here with two people. I'm here with Morgan. Hello! Uh, I. I'm here with John, a.k.a. Bucky. Hi, I'm also here. Uh, and uh, this is this is the Hitmans. Uh, this is what we're going to play. I'm going to turn off that transition so we don't do it all the time. And we're going to go back to here. Uh, all right. So what we're going to do is uh, Morgan has only ever seen me play this. I think you never played any Hitman game before, right? You've only seen me play the first episodic one. I think, yes, I was. I think I watched you play it on the PlayStation. PlayStation four yes PlayStation, yes and uh john you said you've played uh, just a couple as a heads up uh both me and morgan are low low okay well low it gads um i will move my mic a little bit closer to my face though because it was a little bit far away is that maybe that might be a little bit better all right well you're bumped up to 200 percent now i can't raise you any higher in discord and john yes uh i'll raise you 200 percent and see how that sounds to both of you okay sounds good sounds good okay cool cool um and as always that. in chat if you hear some weird audio stuff you know let us know um the audio going in and out is because i'm all tapping and that's what i just have to do um so uh you pointing made it seem like morgan was to your right and bucky was leering somewhere over your head funny enough haunted lake uh morgan's room is that way and bucky is behind me in his room so pretty accurate yeah yeah uh is k fakes katie k fakes is yep. katie oh i didn't even yeah, see katie. katie's name hi katie. hi katie so uh johnny you said you played a couple which ones did you play uh i think i played the first hitman okay I think that's it. Oh, you said when you said you played a couple, I was expecting, you know, a bunch. I think, wait, hold on. Maybe oh, I played Blood Money 2. Blood, well, that's okay. That's definitely later on. Blood I was Money putting two. the audio down a little bit because the music was uh, flaring. Pretty loud. I have to take a look at the. I, I can't remember the exact ones I played. It's been so long. Uh, I started I with played. Silent Assassin on GameCube. Uh, and then I, I dabbled in Blood Money. And um, the other one, I don't remember what it is at this point in time. Contracts, I contracts, dabbled. Uh, contracts. Dabbled in some blood money. You dabbled know. in some assassinations. Yeah, I was going through an experimental period of my life. <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely played Silent Assassin and Blood Money. That was it. Silent okay, Assassin, so solid. So am I under to understand these games are not sort of like linear story based, but more like individual little like missions? missions? Uh, yes and no. They are broken out into missions, but they tend to have an overarching story to them. Uh, the earlier games, from my understanding, and again, this may be slightly low here uh, because I missed a bit in the middle, but... Uh, 47 was part of an assassin organization and his handler, Diane, uh, they worked together all the time and 47 ended up leaving this group uh, because they weren't good. Uh, I know they're assassins, but something about them was even worse than that. Uh, and that was one of my ideas be behind the tattoo was having an individual being not great with the structure around them. So they branched off to be an individual instead. That was the reason. Um, and now this part, uh, 47 joins this other organization. It tends to go poorly as well. A lot of people are after 47 and trying to demolish their organization while we are simultaneously trying to destroy the... It's called Providence. It's like mm -hmm. an overarching, they're rich, they run everything. 
but they're behind the shadows. We're trying to ruin them so that way they can't rule the world anymore. This is a very deep, unique storyline. Just saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Reaper Zeus wants to know if you're going to be, uh, they've been watching speed uh, devs react to speed runs at this game. And if you're going to be completing missions in sub 10 seconds as well. Uh, I did one before that was over an hour. And I did one <laughs> that was 10 minutes. Uh, and that is the lowest I went. And that's it. I think the last one I did in like two hours because I was just going around the whole time because it was like a knives out uh, session in Hitman, which is pretty great. Had a Sava murder mystery, but we're not doing that one. We're doing the first mission here, which is called On Top of the World and set in Dubai. Now, I've done this mission once and I've seen uh, Day 9 do it. I've seen Achievement Hunter do it. Uh, but I'm not going to do it the way that I did it. Since Morgan and John are here, they have different perspectives and different things that they may want to see. So we're going to take suggestions of how we go about things. And since you are also here, chat, we can do that. Yeah. Um, my first suggestion is if there's a dog, uh, I need you to pet it. Uh, you got it. I have not seen a dog, uh, but I will keep an eye out. I've first actually, I've seen dogs in pictures. Business. We find a dog. Pet the dogs. Got it. Uh, second, that rule from Haunted Leg. And also Reaper says, I've owned this game for several years and never played it. So you're still faster than me. Hey, an hour is an hour. As long as you get the job done. That's what counts. I got Silent Assassin on that one. So it took an hour. Done. Great. Uh, Silent Assassin means no bodies are found. You're not compromised. The only people you kill are the targets. And you get out of Dodge before you've seen. Uh, suggestion yeah, two, like use a funny voice. Yep, you I have see to. that. Uh, 47's got to have a silly voice. I mean, he has a silly voice to begin with. Does he? Uh, he does. He does. Uh, it's it's deep for the sake of being deep, if that makes sense. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to lower my microphone a bit because I saw that I was peaking a little bit. Um, so hopefully that's a little bit more balanced now. Uh, voices dependent on disguises. Done. Great. Change gotcha. your voice each time you die, retry. Also possible. I'm, I like the idea of blending in with disguises. Uh, well, so we're going to be in the kitchen. So, you know what voice needs to happen in the kitchen. Uh, your mother's? I heard a weird little horse is heating. <laughs> Gonna murder her the heat again. I, I will say Gotta off the bat, the this is in Dubai. Uh, there is a large Arab population. There be Swedish people in, no, the no, no, no. in Dubai. No, 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 no. I'm saying the large Arab population, I will not be doing voices that can be misconstrued. So, I will be doing yeah, silly voices yeah, rather true. than possibly misconstrued voices. Uh, so we're just going to go in via the initial loadout here, which is going uh, skydiving. We're going to do one little thing. Hey, you Rob. Uh, one little thing, though, is I'm going to hide some lock picks in the kitchen. So if we get in there, I can nice. get the lock picks and we'll be set. Uh, wow. And then we're going to have some fiber wire on us and we'll be good to go. So enough talking. Let's target Carl Ingram and Marcus Stoyvesant and uh, get this over with. Stuyvesant. Stuyvesant. Please, you live in New York. Whatever. I've never actually heard it pronounced. I've just seen it spelled. Uh, yeah, let's go. And we're going to do this on professional difficulty, which is basically normal. Um, so there's surveillance cameras. If they see us, we're going to have to delete the evidence. Combat is normal, uh, but it's on limited saves. And we have uh, mission story guides available. So let's go. Uh, Katie said to do whatever is the most difficult for me. So thank you. If you are seen placing a mine, Welcome it will be Dubai, perceived as a suspicious act, like all bombing-related activities. That's fair. And the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. He's just chilling out there. Yeah, so the uh, briefing, which we did not watch, was him coming down from a plane. Oh, okay. He was just hanging out there. Just hanging out. Yeah. Good. Sure. Now, to quote Day 9, Hitman is a comedy game. Uh, and we will see why that, Mr. Sean uh, Plot is correct. We cannot grab yeah, that yeah, hot grab air the balloon. Grab the hair in a balloon. The, the what? Grab the hot air balloon, crash it into the building. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't... Uh, I can't false. reach. That's the only 
That's the only gay thing in this this game. Um, I believe false. Ooh. Uh oh, definitely false. Hey, definitely climbing. false. Yes. Look at him go, Spider Man. Spider Man. Jesus Climbs Christ, up places. Biceps like no one else's. No one else's. Yeah. You know what? So I need to hack this. This is a very difficult thing to do. So uh, we're just gonna hack. And we are hacked, and we'll just go in now. Wow. So, there we go. What happens if you jump off here, right, somebody right. asks? Oh, what happens if we jump off? Probably I'm pretty sure die. we die. And, we a, and Rob goes, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got quick saves. There is no Aww. jump off button. Oh, it doesn't man. let you do that. The game is too smart. The game assumes that Agent 47 is intelligent. And would not oh. do so. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place I'm close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure I will say the control scheme in this, because we're using a keyboard and mouse, is a little bit weird because controller just feels a little bit better. Uh, but it's it's okay. I changed a couple of hotkeys. Yeah, so close, 47. Don't worry. I'm so close, 47. I picked up a coin. Oh, a coin, okay. Yes. You flick oh. the coin at the ground and distract people. Exactly. And One I also have, like, talking. this view. Hmm. Ooh. X-ray well, vision view. the person view talking that, you know. to you, 47, is very close to completion, apparently. <laughs> uh, so that is a childhood friend of ours, which I believe we found in the last episodic games. Uh, I didn't beat the first one, and I didn't play the second one, so this was just all refresher for me. Um, so he's working with us to take down the uh, Providence. And he's working off-site. Now, uh, how are we going to fit in while looking like a skydiver? Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> nice. Yes. We we look very stuffy. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, nice suit, nice suit, nice suit. Skydiving suit. Skydiving suit, nice. Yeah. You just dumped oh, okay. it. Awesome. Yeah. You should okay. get something and cover that suspicious-looking tattoo on the back of your head. I know, right? What is our accent for this outfit? Uh, let's see. We are very spiffy. We're just... I mean, look at that stance. I believe we're just very professional. Captain yes. Captain... Well, kind of. Yes. Just a very normal uh, person with authority. Hello, my name Sorry. is Brad. Hello. 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 I'm a person named Brad. Uh, this Brad is Lens Flare. We are walking. Yeah, there's a lot of Lens Flare. That is some. Whew. Why do these Good crowd God, pictures song. look like photoshopped versions of like realtor photos or like mock ups? Uh, good question. Good, good they question. They copy paste on a couple of those character models. <laughs> of course they did. So there is a feat here to throw a gold brick at this guy while he's talking. I don't have a gold brick. So we're going to have to give that one a miss. But what we can do is look at some of our mission stories. So I did this one, which is called Bird of Prey. Uh, but two other ones, which are like main story things that we can do here when we go after our targets, is How the Mighty Fall and Insecurity, which is we take the role of someone's replacement bodyguard. And then we take advantage okay. of that situation when possible. The other one is to bring everyone into a meeting so we can get them at the same time, I guess. I don't know. I've only seen the first one done. I've done the second one, and this is new to me. So, okay. uh, any any preference here? Uh, I guess do the first one. We haven't done it yet. First one? We'll, be, we'll pretend to be a new bodyguard? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we'll do that. Sure. Cool. All right. So, uh, this guy's boring. So we got to find a bodyguard and steal their outfit. It looks like we need to infiltrate the staff area, so let's uh, head on that way. Uh, Haunted Leg uh, calling the game out on its bullshit. Uh, hot air balloons do not fly this high. This game is nonsense. Hitman bodyguard, you say? I do say. Oh, so wonderful. Oh, no, it's tragic. I haven't decided what I'm talking about. The extra dialogue should be peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. So we need to go through that door. 
I don't believe okay. we will be able to because it says trespassing, and we're not going to do that. Also, so. you, you've got a big fan in the way. A big fan? Who's the fan? A big fan. Yeah, you gotta you gotta say hi to the fan. Where's the fan? Go. Okay, so go to your left slightly. Oh, that fan. Okay. Yeah, oh. That's <laughs> I knew I knew it had to be a fan. I just didn't see a fan. Hello, hello, man. Jesus Christ. All right, can I go up here? Is that allowed? It is. Oh no, Cornelia, don't go. Oh, do okay, I also can have jump off this balcony? Hmm. I can, in a way, I guess. But oh, there's a story revealing. A what? Oh. A hostile area down there. Oh. Hi, Are Lilf. we supposed to be listening to the stuff that's hey, in here? Uh, yes, it's giving us mission story information. Ah, okay. So this is what I heard the first time around that gave us this mission. Alright, so we still need to get into that staff area. Going in here is a nonsensical thing because we're going to get caught. This is staff only. I don't look like staff. There's a guy there, so we're just going to not go that way. <laughs> okay. All right, so how are oh, we... Oh, but wait. Oh, that guy's leaving. Yes. That, that one that staff guy. guy. You stop. Oh, this you guy over here. Turn around. Yeah. That, that guy, guy went by him by Where himself, you oh. and he's standing there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so... uh. And there's a hmm. closet, so you can yes, do a quick there, change. There is a closet. Hmm. What is the release it's for the door? I guess. Uh, for it's for uh, I think the chandelier. Uh, that one. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Come on in. It's all fine and dandy in here. No one's gonna sneak up behind uh, you. Uh, <laughs> it's like right in front of the doorway, though. That could have been a little bit. It's fine. Yep. It's fine. It's okay. And bam! Now we are a guard. We are a guard, and we also, will be very inconspicuous. Inconspicuous. Nice. Got Great. Gun. Got the skies. Going to staff area. I can also go in here. We oh, Okay. So. Did say trespassing stuff? Uh, nope, he's fine. I just saw the white above his head and had a hard time. So you see on the map, <clears throat> sorry, you see on the map that there are black dots everywhere. If there's a white dot, they are an enforcer, which means they see through your bullshit because they know the people on staff. Gotcha. gotcha. So as long as we don't see the black dots or I, like I saw the white above his head and thought it was a white dot, um, gotcha. that's how you can tell. So over here, if we're ever seen on cam, we can destroy the evidence. Ah, that one guy's looking at you like, I ain't never seen this boy before. Well, I just knew oh, here. Don't worry about it. Oh, so we can grab the gun and put yeah, that. The gun. only other homosexual. Oh, hey, let me just take this gun. No, no biggies. Yes, There's I am. No I am staff. There is no problem. Yeah, you, you can. If you're staff, you can carry a gun. That's yes. just, that's just laws in America. Where, Where are you go? If Bye, Bucky. You... Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whoever, whoever's whatever, just carry gun of your staff. What are they going to do? Shoot you? Oh, what is this over here? That's uh, kitchen. Hi, lady. I'm just going to oh, take God. that. Thank you so much. I'm just going to leave. Goodbye. Probably got some lemon on it. It's probably got some lemon on it. Ooh. Ooh. Staff area. Er Locate Storage. the missing recruit. Oh, hi. Oh, there's somebody who's like laying down. I'm just gonna pick there, up right? this poison. Is there Fountain view. Why are you... Oh, rat poison. I'm just gonna pick up this whiskey bottle. Nice, okay. nice, nice. Uh, Get lady on the job. All right, so um, where is. Where is person? Is this person? I don't think so. It's not really. There's a person lying on the ground? Where? I thought, but I think it might have been the bottle. And I oh, misunderstood okay. the shape of what was happening. Oh, we we are in staff area. Uh, is the oh, red is the outline red... dude? Yeah. The, uh, boys? The, the, the red target. is the target. And there's another target around <laughs> here somewhere. 
Haunted Lake requests either Shaggy or Pooh Bear for a future outfit change. Uh, I will try those. I will try. Oh, bother. I don't even know if I can do a Pooh Bear without listening oh, to it. I can do a really terrible Pooh Bear, probably. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Yeah, but there's people here. Why do I want to do that? That's ridiculous, a childhood friend. To scare the shit out of them. Oh shit, this place is haunted as fuck, yo! Ooh. 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 Um, what is this? Oh, scissors. I'm just going to take that. Thank you so much. All right, so let's go into kitchen. So when do you get the... That new guy is got real sticky fingers, and he kept taking everything that I needed to do my job, and it's very annoying. Yeah, I'm going to take the when cleaver. When do you get the magic uh, heat-seeking suitcase? Oh, uh, I haven't seen one yet, but I do have this muffin. Bless you. Oh, Ooh. let's have two knives. And uh, I'm going to take the soda can. I love me. Hugh Hackenstone, while I'm still in is the land of the awake, you got it. Is that dim sum? dim sum? Yeah, it's dim sum. Oh, I can't do anything with frying pan, so I'm just going to drop can't it on the it. floor. Oh, that's upsetting. Wow. Rude. Ooh, I got a key card. What is that? Staff key card. A key card that grants access to staff areas. Wonderful. Hello, chef. Oh, sorry. Um, Hello, well, chef. Uh, Hugh Hackenstone is not allowed. Not oh, allowed. I disagree. And not allowed. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day, and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. Dude. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my yeah. uniform. Ma'am, can you leave, please? Man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. Ma'am, I need this you to leave, please. Day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. No. This is gonna make me well. Look bad. Sure <laughs> worse than you being in your undie pants like with a lady in a room. Oh. Did you just see me throw it and you're like, haha, haha, no. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. Huh? Check that out, would you? Yoink. And that's gone. Thank you very much. I much appreciate it. Present yourself at the security office. Done. Great. All right. And that is how it's done. Just need a coin. Or okay. uh, anything in my repertoire of inventory. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's something about the Hugh Hackenstone voice that just is like 10 out of 10 annoying for me <laughs> it, it's, it, there's nothing enjoyable about it there's nothing like haha -ha funny about it it's just like nails on a chalkboard Oof, I, I think know. it's hysterical and i think yeah. you should do it all the time you know what's also hysterical the fact that this person has been getting tips the whole time and i'm just picking them up uh that is <laughs> so rude yeah well mm -hmm. They don't get paid enough as it is. Come on, man. So I gotta go up there now. So let's. Yeah, Katie. It turns me on so much. I've never been more wet for Hugh Hackers. <laughs> no, I just flip that. It's uh, actually on loop forever. More like do Hackenstone. Death, the death of sex is what that voice is. More like screw Hackenstone. <laughs> Nailed it. You're so funny, John. I know. I thought I know I am. This that place would play. terrify me. Yeah, you would be one unhappy boy. This is the worst for me, period. I, I have a fear of heights. Uh, more accurately, a fear of falling. Uh, and this place does not work for me. Uh, do I get the floor plan? I oh, wait. To talk to the partners directly. Oh. Make them Mission story revealing. This is one of the other things we could do. And but we're going to do the first one. Gives me an idea. All right, let's go to personal reception. this area. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best oh. Slide to the right. Chris, cross, save. Empty slot. There we go. Sir, we have word that he's arrived. Just waiting for him to turn up. Well, okay. You must be my new escort. You, yep, you nailed it. Sir, I have 
very Good high standards. Stakes. I trust you will do your duty. Back off. You have your credentials on you? I, I do. Here you go. Here you go. I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to put them in my non-existent oh. pocket. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Here, here are papers. Here's papers. You worked for Dawood Dawood? Yeah, I worked for Dawood. Yes. I don't remember the voice I did before. This is just it now. He has no problem. Let us go this way. I am very trustworthy. New bodyguard for you. Now, what I love with the dialogue in these games is whenever 47 says something, it is very double entendre. So, just keep an ear out for it. nervous about where this is going oh well, uh this guy is an assassination target so definitely not you know a normally good person i mean plenty of assassination targets are perfectly decent people just trying to live their lives and take down capitalist overlords sure not this game My Vaza always used to say. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted men with their own knife. And this is where we <laughs> say, just in case. Do do do. Do do. I'm sure it's psychiatrist. Anytime an old white German guy talks so, about like knives and hunting, I'm like, ah, this is the most dangerous game. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. And somewhere down on the ground, somebody's gonna get hit with a cardboard box. You gained his trust. Yeah. Why do they have this just set up? I don't know. Oh, rich people in Ireland. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. <gasps> oh God! Oh, I don't Carl like you being on the. Oh, oh, oh. We're not Blech. done yet. No, you can't push him off. Oh my God! I sure can. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, there's a floor down there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there's a floor down there. Oops. There, there is sure a floor down there. Oh wait, what? pick up, pick up, pick, pick, pick. Oh, okay. I was gonna pick up those first. Uh, you can wait. Oh, hold on, and we're gonna take you. And uh, there you go. There you go. Bye. Wonderful. Body hidden. But is it really when it's just landed on a cocktail waitress on the floor? <laughs> uh, all right. So now we got to go over there after our other target. Uh, I believe that mission story is complete. It is this one we cannot do right now because we can see the little uh, X in the, uh -huh. the lamp. Um, so let's go after the other guy. Rob made a very good point. At some point, there is always going to be a floor. That That's true. You have a point. I could just be very far from it. Now, where is Target? Up there. He's on the penthouse. Okay. Oh, penthouse reception. There you go. I'm missing the key card. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Oh, Ooh. damn it. You missed it. I you missed. missed it. I missed. You fired and you missed. You fired right. and you missed. So we need to find another way up there. Um, Actually, I'm curious where we just came from. It's outside, right? Let's see if there's some ladders or some climbing. Them. Yeah, scale the place.
Oh, the, oh well, there's a camera. Oh, I've been recorded? All right, well. Oh. Uh, you know what? We'll take care of that on the way out. Uh, let's see. There's a ladder right there. I also remember a helicopter key being around here. There it is. Yeah, they just leave that line yeah. around. What's the best weapon in the game? Those boxes and knives are going to murder people. Yep. Oh, oh. No, I see you. Don't worry. Okay, is there a way in, though, or is this just a helipad? Well, it's a helipad, all right. There's another person over to your... Yep. I just want to get him over somewhere so I can take his uniform and... Oh, you... Yep. Yep. What happened there? Uh, I, I pushed him off and then uh, physics took over. Yep. I tried to get him on the ledge and he just kept on going. Yep, yep, we're just gonna take the ladder down uh, for a second. Another... Yep, I, I see, I see, and we're just gonna slide on down here. Don't worry about this. Everyone. Don't worry about this. Uh, there's no problem. Sorry, I just love the, like, splayed thigh. Uh, like. Are you okay? Balls. Oh, no, sir. You're just posing. Okay, well, you just, okay, you come over here. Are you just take a little nap. Okay, you, you'll come here. Mechanic is right there. There's a camera over there, pal. There he is, and I'm not recorded yet. So we're just going to put you in here for later. I will take your outfits later for, for helicopter pirate. Pi pirate? Pilot. Well, pirate? kind of. Oh, actually, technically. Pirate. Yeah. Yes. Let's go up later. Cool guys don't need to use the rungs, they use the sides. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oop, that was on load. Please do not load game. Save. Thank you very much. We're just going to go over that one. Confirm. Great. Awesome. Pirate voice for that outfit then. I agree with Katie. Yes. Pirate I'm down with that. Oh, this looks like entrance. Oh, we're going to also knock this. Oh, I don't have crowbar. Oh, no, I am not. Oh, that. So, person. that's an enforcer. Because uh, of the white dot. Gotcha. So, there's two more here. Yeah, Pentels. Where's Pentels? Uh, Pentels staff is that way. Security room this way. Hello. You are knocked out. Let us just close door here. And uh, you. Oh. Uh... That seems suspicious. That he's knocked out? Oh, that he... Oh. He was just sleeping on job. You do not deserve outfit. Uh, let's just put you uh, right in here, right? Eh? And that is Elite um, Security Officer. Mm -hmm. Can you get rid of your um, tape in here or no? Uh, I cannot do it in here, no. Okay, just make sure I am good with stuff. Nothing I shouldn't be carrying. Can Great. Can you... Kill Car Carl Ingram with the banana. Yeah. Hello. Great. Yeah, I can definitely try that. Awesome. Uh, this is just a wonderful conversation, so let's have this. I also changed outfit. So, um. I don't know if I can do Pooh Bear. I don't know if that's something I, I have in my repertoire. Yeah, so 6927, right? That voice sounds familiar. It does sound familiar. Okay. Boop. All right. So uh, for this voice here, again, I don't know. I don't know if Pooh Bear is possible for me. Hmm. Or Shaggy. 
Yeah, I, all I know how to do for Shaggy is just say zoinks a lot. It's I'm been so long since I've heard either of their voices. Now. All right, so this is one of the other tasks, which I don't have the stuff for. And right. we can't finish the task, so I'm not going to bother. Cool. Cool. That was great. Yeah, girl, get your life together. Yeah, he, she was talking about making an exploding golf problem? ball. Yep. Oh. Acknowledging that you have a problem is the first first step of uh of you know healing. Oh, I forgot my in the Do kitchen. Have... Uh, I have my lockpicks. Oh. Bye. You need to go all the way back down to the kitchen. Oh, I didn't get them, so yeah. But Ooh, I could uh, not go that way. Whoop. And who might you be? Uh oh. Get out of the face! <laughs> no. Hey. Yeah, I'm talking now. Get muffined, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yes. And uh, why don't you just. Uh, just uh, Excellent hmm, use of muffin. Uh, uh, just, uh, hmm, uh, well, oh, that's, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's, that's not good at all. I just, uh, You're still mm. holding him. <laughs> I just, uh, 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 yeah, there's not a dude in there. Nothing. You see nothing. Now you gotta punch that guy and put like, him in there, too. Hmm. That guy's like, man. It's time to drop. Well, you're Dr. Prep to the, oh. Oh, you're nuts. I think I heard something crack. Mm. Non target kill. Oh, that man's just trying to save his life. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, he's got a friend now. I just, uh, mm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, ooh. I got a penthouse key card. Oh, hey. Nice. We're just going to put that away. Uh, you're in the server room, so I'm going to come in here, so we're just going to close that up. Uh, nice. Um, hammer. Oh, that that's that's hurtful to me. Blood in the server room. Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, Jenner's that. key. That's hurtful to me as an engineer. I don't want any of that. Yeah. So uh, that person died by muffin. <laughs> so and a, a clock in the face. Uh, that worked out. Uh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. The muffin man. Yeah. There we go. The muffin man. Do you know, you know the muffin man? The muffin man. Oh, about to. I saw some TikTok the other day. It was some girl explaining how the Muffin Man on Drury Lane was actually a like serial killer of children. Who oh, used to live on Drury Lane. I don't actually know if that's true or not. That's just something I saw on the internet, which obviously like obviously true. You don't need to fact check that. Applies. Yeah, but uh, maybe perhaps was a serial killer that targeted children on Drury Lane. That's Frederick possible. Thomas Linwood, the Muffin Man, also known as Drury Lane Dicer, was the first known serial killer in England. Well, there you go. Hello, sir. There you go. <laughs> we just like to keep I... our harp in random corners of the staircase. This is gonna be a mix of uh, the Muffin Man. Sorry, no, the Gingerbread Man, uh, Shaggy, and. Uh, one of the people from Rick and Morty. I guess Morty. Cool facts. Yeah. That's what we're providing. Don't worry here. about Actual this, guys. I'm just gonna go this way. I think I'm in love. Oh. Not with me. Thank you. Oh. This voice is ideal. Over this guy's walk. Thanks! Scimitar. Cool. I got that achievement. Is that a Fabergé egg? It is. Ready, ready for this? Oh, it's a filigree, filigree egg. A filigree egg, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to grab Fabergé that. eggs are very expensive. And we're going to drop that scimitar. Because we're going to kill this man with a banana. I really highly encourage everybody to while we're just walking around just have the bgs in your head because it makes it so much better 
There's a lot going on here. Oh, the guy. We're gonna stay away from him. Do, 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 do. And since we're up here, we're gonna save the game. Right there. The pockets in this outfit are amazing. Which is... Oh, hello. Person making bed. Oh. Hello. I know exactly what I can do with you. Now. That's ominous. Are we still doing the banana? Yes. Okay. Then we will leave this person alone. Wow. You there he is. Thank your, thank your oh, lucky him. monkeys. Now, this can be potentially really bad because there's a lot of people. Are you just going to chuck a banana at him? Eventually. I need a break, though. There's a lot of people in this room. There's a lot of around. people. No need to panic. I'm panicking. One pineapple. Panicking. In case we don't need to use the banana, there is a pineapple. Alert, a pineapple. Well, let's let's see here. What can we do? That's the filigree egg. I'm aware. You're going to chuck it out the window. Oh. Well, that was crazy. What happened? Agree and so. What? what? Stand back, let me do my job. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I totally okay. understand. Oh, well, we got him out of the room, it just didn't do very much. History of the partners. Well. Oh, are you gonna kill all these people? I may have to, I don't know. I've been given a banana. <laughs> blend in, blend in. Get oh. All right, well, let's just go on out here. Wow. Oh, no. Oh. oh, wait, don't worry about me. No, don't toss this poor bartender. Just, man. Um, no. Sir? Oh. No, you get what? No, you get you deserve this. The poor man was just trying to bartend. This is why these games don't appeal to me in a lot of ways, because I'm just sort of like. Well, they're running the now. <laughs> yeah. Don't well, kill yeah. that lady. Anyone got a visual on Tango? Escort the kite away from here. Now, go, go, go. That's not it. Are you just throwing coins? She has a <laughs> banana. <laughs> okay, we're here. Did you get him? Oh, that was not the silence gun. I missed. I missed the silence gun. Oh, I'm so sorry. Expertly done. I'm so Expertly sorry. Done. Oh boy. That was not the gun I was going for. I was going for this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, You've made a real banana of this. You gave me only a banana to work with. Yeah, but man, could you have used it? It's not, it's not the size of the banana, baby. Well, it's that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, well... Okay, so we're just going to load. Uh, let's go to uh, here. Didn't go all too well. It looked funny. All right, so we're back. Please mm. don't kill the bartender man. Okay, bartender man stays. They're just doing their job, these service people. Hmm. Can't you just put rat poison on the chair or something? Well, I was going to poison his drink as the bartender, but I've been told that I need to kill this man with a banana. I mean, you did do that. I mean, yeah, you could, you could switch it up. We saw him get pegged with a banana. Oh, I did not do that. That's a, that is not that that's a different form of peg. <laughs> You nasty. But in order to do that, I need to get rid of this bartender. 
No. Or Can't you just distract him. Well, you hey, kind of saw me do that, didn't you? Items here, mister. Yeah, fine, fine, sorry. Oh. There we go. Okay. Uh, but now I need to have him have a drink, and uh, I'm not at that part in the mission. Uh, do you want to drink? Do you want to go drink? What else Sir? Need to cover? Uh, your throat in alcohol. Just come over here. Can you deliver it to him? No. Uh, this isn't going well. Oh my god, just have patience. You just gotta wait. Does the poison expire? No. Oh, oh yeah. just oh. wait then. Oh. oh, there he goes. See? Oh. My goodness gracious. See, he's going for a drink. Oh. <clears throat> there he goes. And then he's probably gonna have to run to the bathroom or something. Time for a drink. Time oh. for a drink. The last time he didn't go for the drink, uh, go. granted it was in the middle of a firefight and bananas being thrown around, but. Uh, oh no. Uh, I don't feel so good. Oh shit. Yeah. Sir, are you okay? Don't worry, I'll, I'll escort him. Oh. Oh, where, where are you going? The bathroom, yo. You gotta poop. Okay. Huh. Why, why are you in here? You're embarrassing yourself. Wow. You're embarrassing yourself. Man's gotta vomit, yo. Drown in the, oh dear. Oh. That's in his own vomit. Nasty. That's nasty. a terrible way to go. We got him, forty-seven. Soon there will be. Oh, you got a rubber ducky! Accident. You need to find an accident. Okay, if you make someone drown, you get the rubber ducky. Here, but it's far from over. And uh, why don't you just come on over here, sir? I don't. Don't worry. You gotta stay out there. Oop! Shit! Wrong, wrong button. Yeah, he's fine. He'll just walk it off. He's he's okay. Oh, did he have anything on? Hmm? Can I pick up anything? No, no. Um. No? All right. But you now need to go and get yourself off the security cameras. Ah, oh, I do need to do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that person knows who I am. Uh, downstairs. Where's downstairs? There's um, staircases over there. There are. Yeah, right back through the door. Oh, he's having a rough time. Why don't you guys just stay out here? Oh, I should have thrown the banana at... Oh, oh, no. Hey, oh, that's not good. Oh, uh... Whoop, not you. The big gameplay got a little laggy here on Discord, but... Is it still somewhat okay? Down the stairs. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it, cl it clicked back. Okay. All right. They're searching because I definitely... Well, yeah, that's fine. Put me on camera. I'm going to remove it anyway. Uh, security room. Wrong one, though. Oh. Uh, security cams. Oh, don't... Ignore that gun on the floor, guys. Is it this one? Yeah, no problem. It's this one. Mm. It's not this one. Oh, right. There's dead guy. Oh, uh, let's just close that door up. Oh, just, yep. Okay. Hmm? Nothing in here. Don't pay attention. Nothing in here. Where was... It was uh, downstairs, baby. Control right room? There. Security room's right there. Yeah, uh, it's not the security room, though. It's a different room. Oh. 
Uh, I the, the think it's down? a control room. Oh. Or maybe the next level down, you're right. Hello? Um, this way? No, that's the way out. Yeah, definitely on the same level as the white uniform. So wait, you just saw the sign on the door. It says security that way. Security! Security. Here we go. Oh, hello, everyone. There. Can you, um, blow off? Also, are we taking the elevator out, or are we taking the helicopter out? Oh. Helicopter, please. Is that Good. Good to you. I mean, we prepped that body already. Right. So, um. Okay. Can you distract them? Hot air balloon. I agree with Reaper Zeus. <laughs> Hot air balloon, man. I wish. Oh, the banana makes a triumphant return. Ignore it! Ignore you it! You see nothing. Boop, 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 boop. Just, uh, you, you'll be alright. It's just the sound Does of a that, banana. That guy on the chair is now, like, a white circle? Uh, he was because I was holding a body, and he would find that suspicious. Is it? Oh, I didn't bang Just him on the head with a banana. Stroll up and Jesus. give Jesus. him a nice little tight hug around the neck. All right, we're just gonna drag you out over here. Go hang out with your friend. Yeah, sorry, the gameplay got a little, little. Is it uh, okay on stream? Tricky. Yeah, it looks fine on stream. Okay. Oh, you left your gun in the chair. Don't worry, I'll hold on to it for you. On stream, yeah, it's just on Discord, I think. Yeah, the Discord is only playing back at 720. Draw Avadon. The stream is 1080p, so. Well, that wouldn't affect frame rate. Little... No, it wouldn't. Well, it's 1080p 60, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's true. That's true. But I mean, if I'm gonna uh, frame rate hit at 30, I'm curious about the 60. All right, so this way. I think it's just the Discord player. Oh. Oh, there's something in here. Ooh, crowbar. I found the crowbar. Nice. Oh, penthouse key card. I have three of them now. Nice. Awesome. Another gun. Okay, we're just going to put that and we're you know, let's just uh, drop one of those. That's fine. Here we go. Um <laughs> can blend in as a guard, but we don't need to do that. We just need to leave. Oh, banana. I thought that said blend in as guard, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you can blend in as Thor? All right. Out we go here. And then you hit it in there. Yeah. I did. Oh. Oop. Oh, hi. He, he was like watching you get naked the whole time. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh I'm... my god. You better just go. Just go. Oh. Oh, sir. Over here. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're a witness. Do we have more witnesses? That's fine. This, uh, over. Here we go. You'll be all right, sir. Don't mind the corpse. Actually, uh, the helicopter pilot is fine, too. He's just unconscious. Oh. Humane. You really couldn't tell that from... I'm aware I'm at the end. You know, just in case. Ah, a level where you have to kill someone at Comic-Con would be incredible. Then you could blend in a store. That would be pretty cool. Got it in one. Solid. 
Nice. Nice. Good use of banana. Must say. Good use of banana. Add muffin. So now it's adding on to the stuff that I did from last time. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool. Definitely didn't get Silent Assassin this time around. Uh, I don't think I got it last time either. I did it on the next mission, but I went a real long way around it. And look look at that speed run score. 38 minutes. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. So fast. All right. Uh, next mansion. Cool. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the. Yeah, concept. he does have one hell of a sour yeah, He's a glorified desk clerk. And he's not silly voice. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. He and does. He does. Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. It's like somewhere like Picardy? Decision makers. Oh, yeah? Look. Is it the bald head that does that for you? No. Yeah, I guess. Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. Talking about Diane, the handler. Gotcha. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. This is Diane. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were... Tell you what, if I was a handler for an assassin, I would not live or work in a place that had a shit ton of windows. I just wouldn't do it. Yeah, understandable. I'd live in a hobbit hole. Yeah, good call. Probably bad reception, but you know. You know what? Fine payoff. My job is a handler. Talk to you all the time. But only half the time, because I have sprint. In a hobbit <laughs> hole. Uh, Alright, uh, death in the family. Uh, let's do that. All right, so we need to target Alexa Carlisle. We can do the briefing this time around. Unless this is the same video we just watched. It's not. This is a very okay. knives out thing. And I was hoping They're... to do this with you tonight. They're really rocking Carlisle's out here. Carlisle's lost an empire. We fall hard enough. We tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess I know 47 is not supposed to have, like, emotions, but he just stares off into nothing. Yeah. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads and newspaper publishing while largely unknown to the public the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics media and technology most senior of the partners alexa carlisle is cold as ice 
tough as nails and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other <sighs> side. Okie dokie. So we have to kill an old lady. Yes. Uh, so, one thing I'm going to change in here, we're going to do the main way to enter. Uh... We'll do the nice little long coat, but in the bathroom, we're going to hide some lock picks because I got screwed out of that last time. Uh, let's have the pistol. Let's have the, oh wait, can I just already in use? Oh, okay. I'll just take it then. Yeah, and go. let's just hide some poison. Oh man, damn it. Oh, okay. Sorry, 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 everyone. Got to do that again. Cool. Don't hit escape. We're already good. Hit play. Cool. So we can do this a couple different ways. I didn't get to finish the way that I wanted to because I got impatient. Um, make an honest woman of the old lady lying about her death. Yes, Haunted Lake, we shall. Um... But this Carlisle's feels like very knives out. We could be an investigator to find out how an actual the death occurred. Alexa Carlisle and her three I figured Morgan would like that. Younger brother Zachary, yeah. Grandson and daughter-in-law are all oh, gathered I to love a power stance portrait. Funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, so... That's the Knives Out house. Mm -hmm. It is rather large. What a nice coat. Pretty nice coat. Yeah. I'd wear that coat. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Oh, now it's gonna get dirty. Mr. Whitmer is here. Don't worry, we're gonna be wearing that guy's clothes in a minute. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle. Yep, we know already. All right. Uh, let's go over here. So this time we don't need to kill two targets. We need to kill one target. And then we need to get a case file. Mm -hmm. So only only the woman. Nice. Okay. So do we lure that guy into the bushes? Nope. Have our way with him? Nope. Not that kind of game. Mm. Bummer. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Please, sir. If you follow me. going to go up in here, sneak around a little bit. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Because and everybody is a uh, white. Has the white dot. Well, yes. Uh, everyone has the white dot because I don't belong here whatsoever. Oop. Told Kate about this tech. What did she say? Well, I 
How are you supposed to replace him if everybody sees him and knows him? Uh, you will see. It's a good question. One shot Johnson says your beard is coming in nicely, my friend. Thank you. Much he appreciated. Trimmed his beard today. I did, and by trim beard, I mean like here and here, and this stayed the same. Yeah, but I made him trim his mustache because kissing him ended up being like a two-parter of like having to like find his mouth underneath it. So. All right. So this All guy's here. Beard. Oh, that's fine. Yes, if you use any beard care products. I don't. It is just just me. Yep. Which is funny. My younger brother actually asked uh, Josh the other day for beard care products because he's growing his beard, but his is. Oh no! Oh no! Much... I was seeing. Do you reload that one. Yep. Yes, I do. Uh, let's uh, let's go here. Um, but yeah, my younger brother is, is trying to grow his in, but it's much patchier, so, uh, I asked, I, t I told him that I would ask John if he knew any products for that, but, uh, we also have Drew. Drew from our podcast uses a lot of beard care products, and his yeah, beard that's is, like, true. incredible. I think but I need... apparently my younger brother is using something called, like, the beard struggle or something like that to help him. It's called the beard struggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't want to kill him. He's just a PI doing his job. Yeah. But how did how was I seen last time? That is curious. Yeah. So anybody in the main family has not seen him yet. Oh, maybe that guy over there saw me. There we go. And then let's drag you right on over. And here. And let's oh, get that disguise on. There we go. All set. We're good now. We are PI men. Yes, don't worry about that. Someone just needs to do laundry. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming. Now the fun way to do this would just be, oh, there you are, and then leave. But we're we're not going to do that. That's way too broad. Broad. What's the word I'm looking for? Brazen. 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 Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. See? A little double entendre there. The mm -hmm. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby. Fernsby will take over. Has asked me to assist you in I'm the butler. I bottle. Mr. Whitmer, <laughs> I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started as you wish. If he kind of gives us the voice already for this one because he's like, I'm just going to be Mr. Investor. Oh, what was that arms cross little pose there? That was something. Onward, Thernsby. I feel obliged to point out. Are those light bulb little. Madame Carlyle those are, are interesting little sconces. Yeah. You may be familiar with the These guys? Of her death. Yeah. Yeah. You probably learned that the staged funeral. Is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Schedule. Schedule. Not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. My mother says schedule. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. That's well, a very UK thing to do, right? Trust, oh yeah, 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 it is. That there will be consequences. That the word so you notice there's not a light of lot of white dots on this map because no one knows who this guy is, despite the fact of being a famous PI. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, 
Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, so, sort of Madame Carlyle suspects shot. foul play. And Is it though? That he took his own life. Mm. I've prepared some Is it? That's our job. Please do um, come see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Thank you, sir. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera He's to see a... the dead body? Oh, God. Quite dead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hacked markings indicate a rare short-lived <laughs> plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. Uh, you don't know your poison, that's 47. mine. <laughs> and let's investigate the computer. That's great, great work there. Zachary was shopping for new Wellington that left hand wasn't even touching the exactly touching the keyboard. What you would expect huh. from someone suicidal. The buying boots. Zachary's suicide note. There we go. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. God, it's very helpful when you're a hitman when you can just enact your uh a hidden door. Your highlight vision. It's a secret oh yeah. Passage. This could explain how the door was The way that I inside. So, this is a tricky thing of like of the floor no one would see that way. Somebody's but I like the, the idea of, of we're not manner. that character. But by doing this view, we can Maybe experience what it's to like to button. be very sure keen and observant. Hmm. That's a good thought. So that goes out that way. Uh, I also need to look out for these little camera things. So what we have to do is go to uh, different places and get clues. So we can go to Emma and Gregory's room over there. Or actually, why don't we talk to him first? That way we can actually make sense of why we're doing this. Don't mind me, just running. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Is that Abraham Lincoln? Did you say A. Lincoln? Uh, yeah, well, I saw one of them. Uh, I think that's a butler. Hmm. That's a rough one. Is that a rough one? Yeah. What is this? That's it pretty rough. Like a, some sort of hunting thing. Weird. Like Spanish, maybe. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. That means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. Interesting. Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. Hmm. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Yes, sir. All right. This is very useful information, 47. Intel. So we need to look into all the individuals of the family to see what they were doing, get their alibis, get any evidence, and figure out what's going on. Now, the funny thing is, as 47, who gives a shit? You have a, sui uh, a, uh, a target? Assassinate and leave. But this is just like, while you're here, you might as well. That's yeah. fun. Uh, one shot says, I love the art and design choices in this game, like the architecture and furnishings. Very well done. I agree. This, uh, again, I, I'll refer to Knives Out. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. It's a very fun, fun movie to watch. And the house is very similar to this, of just massive and very cool architecture and stuff. All right, so we found success clues in Zachary's room. That is the dead guy. Now we need to go into Emma and Gregory's, Rebecca's, Mr. Thernsby's office, which is where I struggled last time because I couldn't get in, and miscellaneous. 
So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity. Yeah, I know. I know you're talking right now. So we need to go to Fernsby's office here. Oh, I need to get my lock picks. Oh, actually, no. I have them on me May because I, I decided that. Ask the suspects for alibis. Agent 47 is having a play day as an investigator. You know what? Yes, I'm okay with that. There's a saber. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. No, that's a saber. Uh, that's a breaker for some reason. Now we can unlock this. There we go. And we're going to close that. And now we can actually look in here. Ooh, mansion master key. Yes, please. Ooh. Fire poker. Mr. Fern Fernsby's list. What is this? The office of Mr. Fernsby, the butler. The room is accessible through the storage room. Oh, that's not it. A list written by Mr. Fernsby, the butler. It details various preparations for tomorrow's pretend funeral and a photo shoot scheduled for today by the fountain in the garden. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note, so Mr. Fernsby did not write it. That is what deductive reasoning tells me. Lethal poison pill jar. That's interesting. Lethal. You use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, oh. 47? Zachary's diary. This is big. Interesting. What is this? Uh, wrong room. Zachary Carlyle's diary found half burned in the fireplace in Mr. Fernsby's office. The diary details how Zachary and Alexa conspired to murder their older brother, Montgomery, and how Mr. Fernsby helped them cover it up as an accident. Huh? Zachary was still plagued by guilt, and with Alexa presumed dead, he planned to publicly confess to his crimes. Curiously, the handwriting does not match the suicide note found in Zachary's bedroom. Interesting. He was about to Frame confess to the world that he and Alexa yeah. murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And Oops. apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. You need to forget about Mr. Or he Fernsby wrote the suicide letter and not the journal. The but I think yeah. you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Me like shit. Maybe you should All tell you him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some I more detecting, 47? I do. Hello there. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I you can talk to these people, I investigate the room. Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone but do we want to frame to the butler if he didn't do it? Who did it? You, it no! Like the of the Who did it? Like a real princess. Then we got but figured out. He just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No. no Except no us? Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and... Uh, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Oh. Oof. Oh. That's, that's for later. That's, we're just, oh, I forgot. Is that sugar? Yep. Oh, some poison. Ooh, an iron. Don't mind me, just uh, clues. Robin, you blind. So forty-one guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time. Mm, can't take the plea for that. Oh my god. It's a lot of meat. Oh wait, turn around, look at that stove. Who is a fish? Yeah. So, oh, it's not. It's not okay. So there's a, a popular stove in Britain that is like wood firing that you have to like. That's how it, it, and it's got like three sections of oven that you could do different temperatures. Um, but they're fancy. Gotcha. Uh, I am definitely have this fish in my hand and I'm going to use it at some point. 
the inventory when I did this last time was extensive. This is nothing. There's just so much. Oh, I took the fish onto Lake. There was no convincing me otherwise. I didn't know I could do that the first time. All right, so let's go look at these rooms here. Uh, we need to go in here. And uh, have a chat with this guy. And also, there was a little camera thing, so let's take the camera out. <clears throat> did that did that work? It did. Cool. Yes. Hi, Cassie. It's me again. Edward. Professor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell I know you're on the phone, but can you night. stop that oh, shit for yes. a second and talk to me? Dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to There's spend not the enough night room here, here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admitted that he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior? I know you're in the middle of asking, but expecting to commit suicide. continue. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Hmm. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff. It has felt like 50 Holy years shit. this last year. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Yes. Holy shit. Morgan. What? You said holy shit. I was asking about your holy shit. Out of the ordinary. Do you mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up Oh, I have no idea. Thing? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I I made a comment about how there's not room enough at the house, and that's kind of it. Okay. Yes, I cast. Yeah, it, I the gameplay's been kind of glitchy, so I haven't been able to hear things. Uh. Um. Smoothly? I'm glad that happened again this time. So, Jesus. what is that nonsense? All I wanted was an apricot, and it broke the whole goddamn bowl. Hmm. It's in pieces. Wait, Just... this somebody's talking about, um... It sounds like poison symptoms, maybe? Flickering. Yes. But even though Mother is still alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I turned. And poison his coffee if I wanted to, but he seems like he's gone through enough. Hello, I'm gonna take this bust. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's go to. Um, there's a piece of paper on the table there. There is. I scanned it already. No, no, no. This one. There. Yeah. Yeah, nothing here. Oh, it's like a napkin. Just napkins, okay. yeah. Um. Now there was a thing to take a. Oh, it's in the next room. There we go. Howard Stark, thank you very much. I remember ever having a family event without one tucked away in a room somewhere. Due diligence always trumps the family. I think he's here to cut us from her will. Very ridiculous. Imagine the scandal if the firstborn son didn't pick up the torch. That would never happen. Uh, hello. Can you tell me? You seem like a lovely individual. You're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, yes, that's um, what detectives I left do. Bridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. Yeah, that quiz tracks. night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? No. Tell me about you Zach. can screw yourself. Zach. Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Anything else you'd like to tell Can we just frame this guy really? instead? 
I mean, I'm if we want to. The show. I don't know if we can. I, w I want to, though. obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. All right, that's enough of them. Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? How nope. do you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? So that's the second mention of plants. I know there's a greenhouse around. For how this ended. I would think yeah, we should check in there for something. His self yeah. by letting him live See, I did not get into the greenhouse last time, so I'm wondering if the poison came from there. Have you noticed anything Probably. else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one. Apologies to anyone who has this on speakers and also an Amazon product in their house. Her strong suit. <laughs> oh, was, was I done talking to you? Yep, I can subdue her. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do, though. Um, I think there is a picture thing out here, according to the map. Here we go. For some reason... That pops up. So we got some footprints. We just don't have any shoes to match it up with. Ooh, is that a thing to pick up? Nope. Just to poison. Just keep calm. Okay. Uh, let's save. Did that oh, you're on a call. I can't interrupt you. Birds. They don't seem to be very happy what about What are your pets. alibi, birds? Who did it? Oh, there's a picture thing I can do. Those birds seem very flighty. Fly the coop, flew the coop. Oop. I'll take that bust. Give cats a chance. Oop. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going? Rebecca, Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I oh, what a nasty look that may just Even gave over. Like sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. Will you I shut up? We're having a chat. Call with my New York office at nine. So Was I spent the... three hours on my laptop in my room and okay. went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She Was the... It's strange. Um, the timeline like of the drinks that she said match with what she gets Gregory and the other one said. Did she say uh, half half eight? She said something about a quarter to nine. Half eight, quarter to nine. That makes sense. Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Interesting. Interesting. Mm, nothing else from Speaking there. John. I am kind of lost. 
uh, with what? I, I I mean, I think it was Burns B, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that he got someone else to write the suicide note. Talking to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds mm. of questions. I think Fernsby might have been involved in like something else previous. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other like one many, the many years ago. Of course. Oh. So yes, they were talking maybe. about like uh, two people have a part of one thing that can unlock something. Um, so we got intel on that. Oh, okay. Um, that's a gun over there. So let's go look at the other rooms. Oh, Hersky. Thank you very much. I was wondering where that was. Um, one of the escape options is you leave in the hearse. Oh, neat. So Kidding. let's go upstairs and look at those rooms. There's nothing else down here. We go to Rebecca's room. Oh, we didn't talk to this uh, douchebag yet. How tall are What's you? What's up, dude? You Why are you all up in my face, mister? I'm about to ask you a question. Please behave. Let's pick this up. Patrick Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, wow. get some privacy, would you? And also, I'm just going to take this billiard ball. No reason. Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, okay. uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that... What did you think of Zachary? No, that was the maid we talked to earlier, no. who said that yeah, she was with him. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. Says with a you pool know, table behind him. Exactly yep. So that's too. corroborated. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave mm -hmm. up everything. What an idiot! Thank God, Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. This sounds like an Among Us session. Oh, okay. Like, of yeah. people who just don't care. Of like, I don't like him. Vote him. They were following me. That's us. Yep, they closed the door. Like, how do you know that? Can you whack someone with the newspaper? Like a fly? Relax, man. Oh, I can. Money. Nice. It's just going to take a little longer. How's oh. that my fault? Okay, so he owes somebody money. He does owe somebody money. You know I'm good with it. I'm a Carlisle. I made a pretty good thing back in the day. All right, so let's pop up here and check out the rooms up here. I should uh, Right, yeah, sorry. Uh, one so of the things was... Is that being weird with one of the maids? Uh, that is just a security guard with the maid. I don't think I got it in time. There's a uh, feat for like cap capturing them flirting with each other. Just two regular that people. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Oh, she just materialized that broom out of nowhere. Sure did. It's very impressive. Ooh, bathtub. Uh, that's a razor. We don't need a razor. Go over here. No, I was wrong. Have somebody put propane down for some reason. I haven't figured that out yet. Here's the room. Got the key, which is nice. Cool. Oop, there's something on the floor by the bed. Yep, those are slippers. slippers. But we can look at shoes here. Okay. Or... They match. Oh, okay. The prints that were outside. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, what else is in here? What is this? Oh, greenhouse keychain. Key for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room? I wonder. There's no key, the key though. Missing? 
Hmm. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen oh, to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Okay. All right, which kind of goes with Fernsby's thing earlier, right? Yep. All right. Uh, let's go to another room. Is that everything in this room? Was there uh, like a safe in the wall? This is where the propane. I think it's like a dumb waiter. Oh, okay. Which us here at Taking Initiative are very well aware of dumb waiters. Uh, I have no so, idea what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, Nick is not here. Uh, we don't use dumb waiters. Uh, nope, it's not here. I want to go this way. I just look at the map instead of guessing. Uh, this I haven't figured out why I can't find it. Just as an area undiscovered, but it's in the middle of a hallway. Uh, let's go to Rebecca's room. Mm, might be a secret room. I was looking for a secret room. There's just a secret mirror there. Tunnel. Secret oh, tunnel. Maybe it's, it's secret. That is mirror. the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. Oh. What is in here? We got a computer. What's up? This girl's messy. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in <laughs> no, the conference terminal, though. 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Okay. Oop. Uh oh. Secret, Secret tunnel. Now. It's me. Morgan Yates and Cohen. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC depot number 5085. No, Ooh. I need it immediately. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. It's it been like exist. two seconds. What do you mean it doesn't exist? Sorry, gotta go. I'll call you back later. Well? Well? Well, what did you find? Uh, in the special warehouse down by Greasy. This guy looks like the Dean from Community. Right. Yeah. You really don't have a clue, do you? I'm talking. Arthur Edwards, can we get back Arthur what Edwards. you stole from me? So far, it looks like we can't. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why John Yates should be here. He made the arrangements. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Don't kill the messenger. Please, continue your efforts, Mr. Porter. Poor guy. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's another people there here. here. Ooh, other peep. This is just a little side room? I'll have to look into that. We can't go in here because it's trespassing. Um, we can we can jump in the chest, but I don't think it's going to help anybody. Uh, Why can't you go in? Oh, is in that there? the room with the dude? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, I need All to right. take a picture of something in here. There we go. So I got all the clues in here. Those are it's Rebecca's notebook and does not match Zachary's suicide note. Uh, this says there was a conference right. call for several hours for Rebecca. Emma and Gregory's it. room. Oh, we didn't finish. There's something else in there. Okay. Hmm, okay. And then Zachary's room, we got all of them. Suspects, we ruled out a couple. We could frame him, it looks like. That's what it says. Vis viable suspect. And the other one is Emma Carlisle. We have not cleared yet. Mm. Yeah, what's this room? 
Oh, it's just... Oh, it's a bathroom with a peephole in it? Creepy. Gross. Very gross. Okay. I'm going to take this. This is mine now. Okay. Um... Okay, nothing over here. So we need to go back to the other room because I missed something apparently. This is back here, yeah? Oh. oh man, I missed it again. What? Uh, I just, I need to get them flirting. Yeah. All right, can you guys go go talk to each other? Or it's gonna be a while. Yeah, that's fine. Parents would hate him. Jeez. Um, where was the room? Am I in Gregory's room? Was that it? Was that the one it's, I had to go to? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay. Turn around. This way. Right yep. in here. All right. What did I miss? Yep. There's the bag. It's a cane. It doesn't help anything. Um, yeah, I think I'm about Is it not the bag? Is that not, is uh, it not highlighted? The bag? Yeah, by the bed. No? Oh, no. I'll check the balcony. Nope. Uh, let me verify. Oh, it says four out of four in there. It is. Oh, it lied to me. You know, like or a liar. Oh, it was the cane. Oh, it was the cane. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. All right. So yep. greenhouse. So greenhouse. Let's go take a look down there. We go. Did I did you give me the thing? And it's not giving me the the thing. Okay, fine then. Whatever. Maybe I'll just get the feet later. Uh, now we need to go downstairs, which is. Behind us. Hello, sir. All Going right. down here. Off to the greenhouse. 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 It's full of things that are Hello, green. Sir. Greenhouse. Oh, wow. Pretty sitting room. All right, they're out here. Ooh, That's the greenhouse. That is pretty. We don't have any extra fuses. This is for the family photo. I could kill her during that. What? No. Hello. No, not the maid, the target. Was there something by her feet? Yeah, I can um, set it up so that way there's an electrical um, shortage there. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Oh, I, I would. Had a key for I don't. No, so don't what I have. Keychain. Correct. I have the tag for it. Wow. So I'm gonna do a save. Because I'm gonna have to break into this place. Hold on. Say hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Are you looking something up? Yeah. No. Nope. Not doing that. Not your playthrough. 
You can also use the master key found in Mr. Frankie's office. It did not work. Oh. Uh, it's Emma. She's got the... There we go. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say hmm. Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Oh. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. So, Unless you so think there are more secrets to uncover. Okay. Well, I think that's everything. I mean, yeah. I can't repair the thing without a wrench, supposedly. I don't know how a wrench works with that thing, but... Um, just smack it. Yeah, just hit with a wrench. Glass. What was that? It's made out of glass. Yeah. Sure, it's better. That'll go over well. Yeah, that's just how that works. Yeah. Get to know her in a personal way. <laughs> you could try. Do do do, Mr. Oh. Funsby. I can break off the unicorn horn, but there's a unicorn horn inside. Mm. All right. With that there, I'm just going to quickly save again because. This may kick something off that I don't know. Interesting. And then you gotta murder that lady. Yep. Please stay back. I'm ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. You we did it. Me, oh, well, while you're alone with her, I guess you can. Yeah, that's what I did last uh -huh. time. I found a. Uh, room that she goes into in private she was screaming into a pillow i'm like well that's perfect oh dear and then i went to like blast her through the pillow and she put the pillow down she's like what i'm like what? how how did the pillow stop the bullet i thought his said his name was mr femboy no <laughs> fernsby oh boy okay Right. Oh, I get to go upstairs now? Oh, I'm usually not allowed upstairs. How are you, sir? Fancy. You, what do you mean, how am I? You've been with me the whole time. What are you talking about? It's dark up here. It is. Greetings, sir. All the best are to murder. Uh, there's one thing you like kill somebody with a moose chandelier and it's like uh, they have a terrible moose steak. It's great. This is oh, Madame dear. Carlyle's office. Please step inside. You got it. Oh, wait. Wrong office? This one. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Okay. Please, go ahead. Uh, accuse Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlyle. I guess I could have found a, um, a way to accuse Zachary. Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed. 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed. Thank you for saving games. Yep, yep, saw that. Off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire. From her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure. That's a little Carlyle incest for Empire revenge. For her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. 
She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering oh. to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor Interesting. to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Case file. Case Ooh. file. I you want ask for the case file. file. You have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you? Oh. I expected you might show up, but to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the I mean, you're not wrong. You've earned it. It's true. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What? Oh no! Oh no! Retry. What a shame. Okay, we're I'll good. See to it some other way then. Ooh. So I was able to get into this safe the first time around by finding clues around the room to actually get the password. Worked out really well. Mm -hmm. you want is in the safe. Nice. God, I hope you get everything they did to her. I need some privacy. Thank you. Wonderful. So we're going to save. Yeah. We're going to go to here. We're going to save. And then we're going to very quickly look at our mission story. Nope. Challenges. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Feats. Let's see. Anything to... Oh. Huh. I wonder if I accused the butler, it would have been different or something. Probably. Um... And probably maybe gold if for that one. I don't know. A private moment. Okay. Interesting. Let's take this. How are you? All right. Good work, 47. Can you? That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. You got it. Oh, Roth. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Oh, well, uh, nice, nice place you guys got here. Time to go. Yep. Time to go. So I, really I couldn't. Like she was just so confident. Yeah, that we weren't gonna kill her. Boop, boop, yeah. boop, boop. Uh, uh, Making my way downtown, walking way. fast. Yep, this way. Walking faster. <laughs> do 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 do. All right, let's. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. I'm just gonna leave with these poisonous so herbs. Many dead things on the wall. Yep. And uh, let's right. see which which exit should we take here? Maybe take the hearse. Hi. Oh, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. I think you have to go down another floor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you were you were up a lot of stairs. This way. Yep. This way. Uh. Yep. There you go. Okay. All right, I believe the hearse is right out here. Out front. Yeah. 
Oh, they're looking for you, pal. Oh, they're looking for whatever happened to that body. Pff, definitely not me. I didn't do it. Yeah. What have you been doing? Sleeping okay. <sighs> Is this the vehicle? Uh, perhaps. It's definitely... Nope, that's the boat. Oh, well, I'm okay with the boat. That's stylish. Is that the boat? No, it's just a walkway. I thought it'd be a boat. Oh. All right, another exit. Let's try over here. Interesting. Okay. We end up running past her body, like, ooh, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been around here somewhere. Out the maze. I doubt that's true, though. Now, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired. Like oh, no, we were in, we, we've been in there. There's the Let's boat. Oh, there's the boat. There's the boat. There we go. Nailed it. Stylish. So, I couldn't beat this mission before because I didn't have it a way to get into the office or the greenhouse because I didn't have any lockpicks mm -hmm. and I couldn't find any crowbars. Oh dear. All right. Well, very good, baby. Solid. Cool. Good work all around. We got a mystery solved. Silent Assassin. Five stars. Nice. Solid. This was neat. Two two missions in our our time frame. Yeah. Well done, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, assistance and the commentary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, nice work, Agent. Thank you, Haunted Lake. Much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, so Thanks everybody for hanging out. Yeah, we're we're gonna stop it. Stop it on there. Um, thank you again for hanging out. Tomorrow, uh, Morgan has Thistle's game patch. I'm doing some Final Fantasy X. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are continuing Final Fantasy X. Um, we are on our way to. Um, I think we're on our way to Kilika Island. So. Uh, we'll have some fun stuff to do there, and hopefully we can get another one of our temple uh, challenges out, because those are really fun. Wonderful. And then Wednesday, John, are we continu continuing Valheim for Get Lucky with Bucky? Uh, yeah, most likely. Cool, cool, cool. I uh, don't know what that cast of people will be, but we'll see at the time. Um, mm -hmm. We had a new episode drop today. That was episode 48. We get to see whose yep. backstory may be explored next because mortimer's is done surreals is done zells is done we only have two left unless we dig into you know zephyros or something um and thursday we actually have uh next dj stream uh, as long as he gets internet back because right now he's down some internet so uh keep an eye out for that too uh, so for any updates, as usual, you can check out Twitter at TI underscore pod and taking initiative podcast dot com. You can go to the discord link, hop in discord, and you can find out all the news there. Um, bye, Haunted Leg. Bye, everyone else in chat. It was nice hitting men with bananas with you. Thank you. It was a very good time and a split section second decision. I tripped over my own words for that joke, but I'm keeping it. Uh, all right. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. bye.